Thanks for joining us for the Purdue University CME Group Ag Economy Barometer February 2023 survey results. I'm Jim Minter, Director of the Purdue Center for Commercial Agriculture, and I'm going to share with you the highlights from this month's survey. The Ag Economy Barometer declined five points this month to a reading of 125, down from 130 last month. And that leaves the barometer unchanged compared to this time last year, but down 40 points compared to where it was two years ago this time of year. The indices of current conditions and future expectations both declined this month. The current condition index was down two points compared to last month, but that left it 2% higher than this time last year. The future expectation index was down six points compared to last month, and that leaves it 1% below where it was this time last year. One of the reasons behind weak farmer sentiment could be a lack of confidence in future growth in ag exports. Since the beginning of 2019, we've been asking producers what they think is going to happen with respect to ag exports in the next five years. And the percentage of producers who have expressed confidence in exports as a source of growth for ag continues to erode with just 33% of respondents expecting exports to grow in the upcoming five years. The Farm Financial Performance Index was down seven points this month as producers continue to expect weaker financial performance for their farming operations in 2023 compared to 2022. We continue each month to ask producers about their biggest concerns for their farming operation for the upcoming year. And once again, higher input cost remains the number one concern among producers. More producers are worried about lower output prices and higher interest rates, while fewer producers are worried about input availability than on previous surveys. Farm Capital Investment Index was up one point this month compared to a month ago and one point higher than it was this time last year. But the index remains roughly 50% below its level of two years ago. In a follow-up question posed to producers who say it's a bad time to make large investments in their farming operation, 45% of them pointed to the increase in prices for farm machinery and new construction as their primary reason. And the percentage of producers pointing to higher interest rates as a concern has also been rising in recent months. Both the short-term and long-term farmland value expectation indices were down this month. The short-term index was down one point compared to last month. The short-term index was also down 18% compared to a year ago. And the long-term index was down five points compared to last month, and that left that index down 11% compared to a year ago. When we ask producers about their expectations for farmland values in the upcoming year, we can start to see a change in sentiment appear, although overall sentiment remains positive. Fewer producers are expecting prices to rise in the upcoming year, and more producers are expecting a decline than when we asked the same question a year ago. There continues to be a lot of interest in solar leasing of farmland for solar energy production. In a question posed only to producers who have actively engaged in some discussions with companies about solar leasing, we detected a change in the rates being offered for solar leasing this month. This month, 48% of the producers who engaged in some discussions said they were offered a solar leasing rate of over $1,000 per acre. That's up from 34% in previous surveys. That wraps up our discussion of the February survey. You can get the full report on the Purdue CME Group Ag Economy Barometer website, which is purdue.edu slash agbarometer. And you can also get some more details on our podcast, the Purdue Commercial Agcast, which is available on major podcast providers and at purdue.edu slash commercialag. On behalf of the Center for Commercial Agriculture, I'm Jim Mintert. Thanks for joining us.